Alright guys, so this weekend, I'm hanging out with my friend who came to town, okay, and he happens to be Asian, Chinese to be exact, right, and uh, he was watching Netflix, and uh, he stumbled across the Colin Kaepernick documentary, now, I would not have known about this, uh, because I like I tell you guys all the time, I don't have Netflix. And if I had Netflix, I would have no interest in watching the Colin Kaepernick documentary. But he mentioned it. And um, he said he turned it on for five minutes and he couldn't take it anymore. And then he turned it off. Right. And come to find out there is a reason why he said that. Because apparently in this documentary, Colin Kaepernick is comparing NFL training count to slavery and boy oh boy oh boy uh i have a whole lot to say about this but first let's actually play the scene so that you guys can get an understanding of literally what's in the first five minutes of this documentary on netflix take a look what they don't want you to understand is what's being established is a power dynamic Before they put you on the field, teams poke, pry, and examine you, searching for any defect that might affect your performance. No boundary respected. No dignity left intact. Bruh, this is the same dude, guys, who begged and pleaded to get back in the NFL, right? But now he's trying to tell us, now that his playing days are done, that NFL is like slavery, right? They're comparing, he's comparing the NFL, the NFL training camp to slavery and the combine to slavery. But he begged, literally begged to be a part of that, right? He begged to be a slave. Tell me how does that work, right? Tell me how does it work. Maybe because these so-called slaves, right, that Colin Kaepernick is trying to say that NFL football players are, maybe it's because they get paid millions of dollars to play a game, right? I don't recall slaves getting paid millions of dollars to play a game. Matter of fact, aren't y'all woke revolutionaries the ones that are begging, begging the government to pay you back because the slaves weren't paid, right, for their work? Aren't you guys the ones asking for reparations? Okay, I don't think that NFL players, uh, I, I think that they're being compensated quite handsomely, right? So I don't think that you can compare them to slaves just considering the fact that they're paid. But also what kind of blows my mind is how in this scene, he only uses black players as if there are no white players and Hispanic players and Asian players that literally go through the exact same process right how we all seen a picture of tom brady uh when he was at his combine right with his shirt off and his underwear looking lanky right that was a part of the slave evaluation process right so, again so if you want to be accurate here captain you should have showed some white slaves being measured up right that's what you should have showed but he won't show that because it, it doesn't fit the narrative right the comparison went sound right Right? It wouldn't look right. But if you was going to try to compare it to slavery, hey, you should have showed a white slave. Should have showed a white slave. Okay? But he only chose black people. Right? As if this process, okay, this process that he's trying to compare to slavery does not happen in every single league. Okay? Happens in every single league. Happens in basketball. 
There are uh, black and white players there. Happens in MLB. There's black, white, Hispanic players there. <laughs> happens in soccer. Okay. Also, I, I believe this probably happens with women's sports as well, too. Maybe the WNBA has a combine. I'm pretty sure they do. Right? Happens in MMA. Happens in every single sport. Is that slavery, too? Right? Is it? Is it? Is it trafficking when these, uh, you know, teams go and recruit Brazilians <laughs> to play soccer, right? Brazilian kids to play soccer because they're good at playing soccer. Are you going to compare that to human trafficking, right? That's probably what he'll say next. That's what he'll say next because these guys will say anything. They will say anything to push racial division in this country, right? They'll say anything, right? NFL players are slaves, right? I mean, again, I'm not surprised because they say that Kaepernick lost it all, right? Kaepernick lost it all. Dude's worth millions of dollars. He's making millions of dollars a year from Nike, right? A company that pays him that is in bed with China who actually is using slaves, right? Ennis Cantor had to call him out over that. Ennis Cantor, the NBA player, called out LeBron and Michael Jordan. Said, so why are you in bed with Nike if you guys claim you care about human rights so much? Because Nike's in bed with China, and allegedly, <laughs> China has slaves. But these people, they will never talk about that. They will never bring it up. They have nothing to say about that. But all their energy and hatred and vitriol is directed towards the white man. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what they're worried about. Right, because the billionaires in the NFL are, are, are capitalists because they're making money off black players. Right, an institution that, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure this is a fact. Right, that has created more black millionaires than any institution in this country's history. What institution has created more black wealth than the NFL? I I can't think of one. Right. I can't think of one, but for whatever reason they're saying that this is slavery, okay? It's slavery. But again, like I said, I'm not surprised to hear this from Kaepernick, who claims that he's working out. He's still working out five days a week, getting up every day at 4.30 so he can get a job, right? Because he wants to play football. He wants to go be a slave again. But when you are comparing NFL combine in the training camp to, to slavery, a slave auction, um... I, that doesn't sound like you want to be back in the NFL, you want to be back in the league. And I don't know how much more obvious it has to be made that this man does not want to play football. He has never wanted to play football ever since he left the San Francisco 49ers, in my opinion. Every single chance this man has gotten, he has sabotaged his chances of getting back into the NFL, right? And he continues to do so, but you have these woke revolutionaries jumping up and down about why Kaepernick's not in the league and he's putting out stuff like this. He is a con artist, right? He's a con artist. A con artist that takes a check from Nike. Who, again, has a history of using child labor. Who's in bed with China. Who, again, allegedly <laughs> is using some unpaid labor, right? So, again, <laughs> how this man has any credibility is beyond me. How do people see him as a victim is beyond me. This is a victim that's doing Netflix documentaries and getting paid millions, right? He's a millionaire, but he's th this is the 2021 victims, guys, right? These are the, the revolutionaries, right? <laughs> it paid millions, sponsored by Nike, sponsored by Nike. But anyways, um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.